Hey again, Holiday with you on the snake. I wanted to do one more follow-up video on the new Lenovo Yoga 720 with the NVIDIA GeForce 1050 in it. I'm going to give you a few more thoughts. I still love this laptop overall, but there are a few issues that I wanted to share with you that I've kind of come across that might be a deal breaker for some of you, and I want you to be aware of them. So let's go over a few things here. One of the questions I've had people ask me involves the boot time of this laptop with the SSD. How snappy is it? How quick is it to desktop? So let's, uh, let's give you an idea and I'll be as accurate as I can here in three, two, one. Eight point two one seconds is the answer. Uh, as I've said before, a very snappy SSD makes for an overall good experience with this Yoga Seven Twenty. Um, to me, that's plenty fast. But if you've been wondering, that's uh, that's the time right there. Okay. The other issue that's been a little bit more concerning to me, just because I haven't really had a laptop uh, do this to me in a while, is uh, when I turn the machine off. Um, I'm actually going to run a, a timer on this and see how long it takes. Um, you know, if if a laptop is going to have a problem, um, you know, let it be uh, being slow on shutdown if, if it's got to have one problem. Um, let's see exactly how long it takes. You can tell by the, the keyboard lights. Um, let's go ahead and, and uh, let's reset my timer. Let's choose shutdown. Let's see how long it takes for the keyboard lights to go off. Still not off. Still not off. And we're 35 seconds in, keyboard lights still not off. And 45 and we're done. So there you go. Again, not really a big deal. I've had no stability problems with this laptop, but that's a long time to go through shutdown. I've also, as you might imagine, had requests for people to, uh, to run some benchmarks on this again. Um, Firmark obviously is going to be some heavy lifting for the, uh, the NVIDIA 1050. Um, so to give you an idea, I'm running a, just a very quick Firmark run at native 4K uh, res. So you can see the, uh, the temps uh, that this actually gets to. Um, come on, full screen please, it would be great. Just want you to get an idea of what the fans will do when this thing's under load again, and what kind of uh, temperatures the GTX 1050 is going to reach. All right, zooming in on the numbers, as you can see, this thing doesn't get hot at all. Um, looking at max temp so far of around 62 degrees Celsius. I know with 1060 and 1070 cards that I've messed around with, um, you were easily, you know, in the 80s. I'll try to be quiet here. I don't really hear a lot of fan noise. I'm not sure how much you can hear through the camera here. But GPU is kind of settled into a 57 degrees Celsius. Plateau, maximum 62 degrees Celsius. And the one thing I like about this is you don't see a lot of fluctuation either. Um, so it does not seem like to me that this system is really throttling much to, uh, to give you a you know, 1050 power in a chassis this thin. What else to say about this Lenovo uh, Yoga 720? Um, I was laughing at one of the comments on one of my previous videos. Some loser was uh, accusing me of being a fanboy. I don't think it's possible to be a fanboy of Lenovo. I'm sorry. Um, and what's funny is we bought this laptop for my wife 
um, and she was using it on a daily basis. I normally use either MSI, I've used Alienware, Razer laptops in the past. Uh, so the idea that I'm a fanboy is really funny to me. But, you know, it's YouTube, so whatever. Um, I, I still love this laptop. I still think it's great for what it is. Um, there's going to be a lot of, uh, of 1050 laptops out on the market that are going to have this thin chassis. I was oohing and on over the, the new Asus Zephyr uh, thing with the 1080 with the Max-Q stuff. That Max-Q stuff is really awesome. I'm, I, I may do, if, if, I, if I can suddenly become an investment banker and be able to afford one, um, I would love to get my hands on one of those laptops and play around with it some. Um, but back to the point here, I still think this, this Lenovo 720 is a great laptop, and it's going to be a great laptop for a lot of people. Um, no, if you're a hardcore gamer, you're going to want something with a 1060 or north of that uh, as far as uh, your video card performance is, you know, is concerned. But if you're looking for something that can do video editing, um, this video was done on that laptop, by the way, in case you're wondering, at 4K. Um, if you want something that does video editing, if you want something that's thin and light, you want something that can still, you know, you want something that can still play some games, um, you know, when you want to relax, um, this is going to be able to do it. That 1050 is a very capable card. Um, there's only a couple of things I've found that will not play uh, games smooth at a 1080p res on high settings. Um, so I still give this a big thumbs up. Again, beware, there are a couple of niggling issues I pointed out uh, that may or may not work for you. You may or may not like the keyboard. Best plan, um, I think there are some displays of this that you can convince some of the Best Buy people to get out and let you try if they're not already out. Um, go to a Best Buy or some place that's got these on display and try it for yourself. Um, the people that I have talked to that have actually gotten this um, have been very pleased. Um, the one other thing I'll mention, I had somebody question saying their games weren't running very good. Um, so I'll actually go through this really, really quick. Um, if, you, if you're if you, if you don't mess around with computers as much as I do and you, and you haven't had to configure a lot of uh, NVIDIA control panel stuff, uh, when you get your Yoga 720, if you're new to the gaming thing, make sure you go into the NVIDIA control panel and you look under um, Manage 3D Settings. Um, under the tab that says Program Settings, if you've got a game that isn't running good, uh, make sure you locate that in the Program Settings and make sure that it's using the NVIDIA video card and not the integrated chip. Uh, because there's a couple things that I found that would default to the integrated chip for some reason, and you're not going to get good performance on that. Uh, so that's where you're going to be able to find that. Make sure you, you change your settings right there to uh, to make sure it's using the NVIDIA card. Um, but it's a great laptop. Again, if you have questions, I've been trying to answer questions that I know uh, as quick as I can. Um, and like I said, we'll see if we can get our hands on some of the new tech that's uh, that's coming down the pipe uh, to do some new videos for you. But again, I appreciate all the comments and interaction. It's been a lot of fun, and we'll look forward to talking to you in the next video.